Back you, baby. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. We back off the hills of doing lip service. In case y'all ain't know, we got the first lip service drop of 2024. You heard me? Yeah, make sure you press play on that. Y'all gonna thoroughly enjoy the interaction that was displayed on that episode. High octane echelons. There you go with his language. Yo, yes. bag, yo, bag fuel beanies for sale. Yeah. Hand, handmade, crocheted, warm, personal for you. They're going to be up on the website. They're going to be up on the YouTube. They $50 plus shipping. You can't get no better. And they stylish. We was on television with the beanies on, too. We got different colors coming, so don't think it's just the black with the red bow. We got colors for you. They coming Ooh, quick. Man. Pause. Anyway. Yes, um, your boy Cat Williams. What about him? If ever the terminology understanding the assignment had to apply to an individual. It applied to that man right there. We didn't. We had heard about the interview when we was all working, me, you, and Ghost. We're like, all right. And then within an hour, we're like, all right, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> I mean, Cat Williams just, what 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 people see in, in the forefront is different from what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. He held on to this information for a long time and strategically dropped this bomb when he was ready to do it. Because a lot of these stuff that, a lot of the things that he talked about isn't recent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's over the course of time. So he sat there and just marinated on everything and chose his opportune time yeah. to strike. That's a dangerous man. You got to watch out for a nigga like that. And, bro. and what he did, too, which was very clever, if you if you analyze the whole play, he waited until all the people he named, their powers weren't as at their height. Because think about it. For years, Steve Harvey had that wig, and people really thought that that was his actual hair. And, yo, ghosts. That's the shit y'all focus on. When no, you're not. What I, no, what you're not understanding was. Why you say y'all? He's talking. What you? What you no, what you got to understand? It goes back to the power. He was so powerful that nobody would believe it. When you're at a certain level, there's no real negativity. I don't care about the nigga talking about other people. How do you feel, right? Because mm -hmm. Ian Joe Budden's manager said that Schwartzman. Yeah. What, he said, "What would have happened if Shay, if Shannon?" Put it under a, a paywall. Would it be as big? Like what? Like think about what? Think about that. I mean, that's a, that's a thought. That's 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 interesting. Based on what the YouTube is right now, he's on pace to make half a million off that interview already. I, I, I heard he's making way more because he's minimum. Getting, he's getting sixty. Listen, you seen of the DraftKings? The he's draft getting, he's getting the commercial. You, 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 you low balling. Low balling. Yeah, yeah. Niggas is talking about but, six, seven, eight but, but, million dollars. But let me say this. Let's take half a million, right, to play with. Could he have made that off the paywall, depending on what the price margin is? But we can't, we can't, we got to talk about reality. No, no, it is reality. Be hold on. Based on how they pay, because you have to understand the paywall. You have to sit there. People purchase it. How much would he have to sell That's it for? That's not what I'm referring to. I'm what is referring it? referring to the amount of money. I but when when you're referring to this is key because if you're referring to five hundred thousand and he's making eight million, it's a totally different outlook than when than, than what we're talking about. This is this is high stakes business. No, you but what you, but what you got to understand, he's saying what would he have made off the paywall? And this is why I'm telling you, you have to scale it correctly. I understand, but nobody tweet, so makes wanna, half a million off the paywall. Talk for Ian, so let me just get this is what I'm trying his, to tell you. Pull his tweet up so you guys can actually. Even behind hear the paywall, nobody's making that. I can hear what he said because I think it was. I think it's an interesting conversation. He said Cat Williams and Shannon interview was great. Twenty five million views in forty eight in forty eight Four. hours. It's even greater. But can you imagine how much bigger of a play it would have been if it was behind a subscription platform that Shannon's ha that Shannon has set up under his control? Now, let me ask you a question. Mm. If somebody pays and they go behind the paywall, they can't record it and put out clips and do different things? I mean, they put out clips and do different things with this anyway. It's, I mean, but what, what, what I'm saying is mm -hmm. it, it, it still would have leaked over. Yeah, but it's, 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 a, it's a bigger impact. When is this many people when it's free. watch it? Yeah, that, but this, this is, this is yeah, yeah. Yes. more more people. This is what I'm saying. More people's gonna watch it. Yeah, if I think it'll it still been big. 
but not as big as it is now. No, it wouldn't have. It, it, agreed. It, it might have been monetarily more lucrative because now he's getting the ass that he's getting on on, on, on this shit because he, he's getting ass within his show, not just on YouTube. You got people like DraftKings saying, yo, I'm, I'm going to give you a bag to be on this part of mm -hmm. the show. You feel what I'm saying? So his shit is totally different when it comes to the money. Yeah, because how many people, because at, at that price point, now you got to determine what the price point is going to be. $20, $30. Are people willing to pay $20, $30 off a of Cat Williams interview now? See, it's, it's tricky based on status, who you are. Maybe he would have to lowball the number at $10. This is all hypothetical shit. But to go to your point, would it have really been viral and shared and impactful? And I don't know, Ghost, you'll tell me based on Joe Rogan and Burt Kreischer and all them dudes and and um, who's I mean, the other, and, um tell, Andrew Schultz. Do you I think mean, they make half a million off Patreon a month? I mean, they probably make more. And I'm more. low balling it. That's they, what well, they more. probably make more. But Joe Rogan, you can see, once he went to Spotify and is exclusively on Spotify, he doesn't really have as much of the momentum. He's still the the number one. But yeah, the momentum's not the same. But it's not like, it's not talked about as much as it used to be. Yeah. I feel like mm. it being free is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, it would have leaked out later on, like I was going to try to get to. Like, Sorry. yeah, people would have mm. leaked out clips and everything, but they wouldn't have been able to see the whole show. I watched my wife, who doesn't watch YouTube, it, because everybody's talking about the interview. She don't know what to talk about, so she watched the interview just to say... I saw it, so when people talk about it... She's she informed. Was like, she was like, two hours is too long. She watched probably an hour and 40 <laughs> minutes of it, though. You follow what I'm saying? And I'm saying that to say that mm. it's because it was free. Yeah. And it was readily accessible, and it was on YouTube. Agreed. She would have lived off of clips and different things that people put out to mm. drive people to the paywall, but I don't think that she... I know for a fact she would not have paid to watch the interview. A lot of people like your wife. Like, I would have never paid for that shit. Because I always remember how Ghost talks about when these people are trying to start up new apps similar to to compete with YouTube or Instagram. We're already like ingrained in these apps to sit here and try to get people to transfer over to something else. You got to be an exceptional person or you got to be able to be willing to lose. He, he could have transferred niggas over if it was a free, easy app. Like Spotify. But like Ghost be saying, the apps be so, when they launch a new app, it's so difficult to get on the app. But when YouTube is, you download it, boom, you go on it, it's easy. Now, if if he had Club Shay Shay, and I hope y'all pay me if y'all work here, if this works yeah. out. If he has Club Shay Shay, and he puts Club Shay Shay on a new app, that's the bag. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, the app, I, I don't, be, it got to be depends. easy. 85 South does it. On what? And I don't know how how they how their shit looks. On what app? They on their own shit. They got an eighty five South app, and it's on a, it's and on they, the phones and they put and four episodes like or are they are they podcasts on there and stuff like that. But how many people really know about like go to that? You know how I look at YouTube and Instagram. How I look at a pen that's black ink and blue pen. It's part of the the society now. It's ingrained. When you get a phone. The YouTube app is there already. And that's what I was saying. I, that's what I was going to yeah. ask about the 85 South. And no disrespect to 85 South, but they're not Shannon Sharp. And I'm and I'm saying this to say because mm. he's on major TV as well. Yeah. He's on Sports Center Mon I mean, not sports. Like first, three times a week. First take two to three times a week. <laughs> Minimum. And yeah. before that, he was on with Skip Fox. every day. Out, out the week. So he has mainstream TV backing him before anything How else. about this? He was also on CBS before that. And he was also <laughs> a fucking world champion football <laughs> player, player. This before <laughs> that. So he has a lot of Yo. things that, that come with Shannon Sharp. He's been in the spotlight, him, what, 30 to, years? To take him to this pinnacle right now. How about this? I just don't think the 85 South... Has but that I'm same just talking push. about the model of content and content. How, to, how he's distributing it. Mm-hmm. I it's, think I think with I think with the momentum that he has, I think he could be the pioneer or flagship person for a new app if it's easy. I, my to thing use. is I don't understand why everybody want a new app. YouTube is TV. It is. There's no TV. Nobody's really watching TV. It's ghosts. They want another app because they want more money. 
People I'm don't it. feel like the YouTube is paying them. But you know what I saw? They said the out of all the, the entities that pay out for... It's the most on YouTube. Yup. You, YouTube they get, is the new TV. Yeah. There's no I agree. TV. Like, YouTube is the new TV. The new television you stars? You other apps. Sorry, Hulu, Ghost. Netflix, all that stuff. But YouTube, a lot of people are, are Instagram on YouTube to watch content. And YouTube is the new Hollywood. That's the new L.A. In the next seven years, you take your hood up so they can I, see your but paintings. there's a reason I can't do that. Uh, it's not I know, but they losing the effect right now. No, nah, I know, he but fucking up the promotion. But go ahead. I'm always thinking about marketing. No, nah, I would do ahead, it, but bro. it's I can't do it. But um, yeah, um, Instagram and and YouTube is the new Hollywood. They're the new Los Angeles now, where people would go to Hollywood, be in movies, and be notarized. In the next seven years, this is where the stars are gonna be factory made coming out of. So since since I ain't putting a dress on, huh? I ain't putting a dress on. No, for why? Fuck out of here. <laughs> you gonna put a dress on? No. <laughs> there, there, there comes a point like no, nigga. Like no. Come on. You think that's real? That's that's one of my topics. No, I was gonna talk about it. It's niggas mad know, niggas, niggas with niggas dress. Not to ask me to put no motherfucking dress on. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I see niggas play these fucking funky ass roles. Even when I saw Martin. No disrespect, Martin. When he played, what was that? What's the mo- what's the black lady? Big mama's house. Come Big, on, stop. The it. only nigga that got away with it. Robin Williams. No, no. Um, I, I ain't fucking they, with all, uh, everybody. Robin Williams, Mrs. To Dalphia. be honest. And, I'm going through a lot of people. The only Denzel, I think, is the only black man. No, who what I'm saying that Mac ain't putting no motherfucking. What I'm saying, the only Mac dude that got, that wore the the, the dress <laughs> was Larry Johnson. I think he got away with it. Where he was grabbing my mom. Wesley Snipes got away with it. Uh, nah, nah, bro. Not you, we all did it. Nah, bro. Not, not John Leguizamo. <laughs> yeah, no. God bless the dead Patrick Swayze. You didn't get away <laughs> with it. Either. No. Will Smith never no. got away Two with it. Two is a good movie. Though. Tyler Perry, we don't give a fuck. Tyler Perry, you can't stop. Will Smith, I I, I don't remember him wearing, um, wearing a dress, but when he had to play that gay role in Six Degrees of Separation and all that, he never got away yeah, with that yeah. either. Only Larry God Johnson did. got away with wearing a dress. Grandma is the only yeah, you, person I think that, that yeah. he was like, oh, I get it. I it's, get it. It's Grandma Ma. What about funny. white chicks? No. What about white chicks? Who's you talking about, about the Wayne's um, brothers? The Wayne's yeah. brothers. Nah, what the fuck bro. out of here, bro? <laughs> nah, sorry. No dress <laughs> gets crazy. A, no dress no gets dress. a pass, bro. Nah, that's blasphemy, yeah. bro. Come Only on, Larry J- you Because you was born around that time, so you ain't understand the effect. Ain't that much yeah. Hollywood in the motherfucking world. Niggas can cop out, mm-hmm. act like they got to go get their money. And I'm speaking from a nigga who was in the music business. I could have copped out to a lot of things and, yeah. led, and led myself to money. Niggas will fucking tell you, Like nigga. what? Nah, stop. Nah, <laughs> he said, I can go through that door. Bro. I got it. Like, we, I think us. Stop, What's up, bro? I think us as a people need to call this shit out. Because that's how we get it to stop. If we don't call it out, and we the, just yo, like. Listen, I'm not the leader of these 90% niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not calling out. Well, but what my, did they ask I'm not, you for? I'm not, I'm not calling myself out so these 90% niggas could really know what's going on. I don't really give a fuck about them. But I you turned it down. You. So you can't say I'm, what you that's, turned down. That's, that's for, no, I don't have to say what I turned down. I'm saying within the mm, business mm-hmm. and different things that have occurred, it's our, our opportunity. Everything, see, when people think turned down, everything is not about sex. Certain things is about take this money and leave your family behind, come to California, yeah. live out here for two or three years. No, I'm not fucking with that. Hey, yo, you can be an insulate. Yo, if you manage this dude right here, yo, it's a tremendous opportunity, but he might talk to you crazy. He might treat you wild. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nigga, I'm, I'm going to pass on that motherfucker too. Hey, yo, this girl, this this white woman that was going to get me in the voiceovers, this, old, this older bitch, I was in my 20s. I was 27 years old. She was wrinkly and like 50. 58, 59 years old, and she was on some like, yo, if you want to get into these voiceovers, you'll make $200,000 a year, but you got to fuck this. And I was like, nah, I can't do it, wrinkly lady. You're bugging. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You passing up other shit, and there's other things along that nature. A lot of that, I, I don't know about that male-on-male sex shit. I don't know about that, but I do know about women. Women, Niggas want women to have sex with them. Why? 
I'm not I'm not fucking condoning it. I'm saying because they feel like they're putting them in a situation and giving them an opportunity that nobody else mm. can. It supersedes you, the and, sex and, and, and value. And, and you taking That's your fucking it. pussy that I want and giving it to a nigga who can't do nothing for you. If you want to give it to him, go back to the projects or wherever he's at and go fuck with him. That's how they look at it. It don't have to be right, but that's the thought process. I'm going to give this to somebody who, who appreciates the fucking position that I'm putting them in. Yeah. That's how they look at it. And it's not a man thing. It's a woman thing, too. Women of power feel the same way. If they're attracted to you, yeah, you might be an ugly motherfucker that's talented. And they be like, yo, I'm going to make money off this ugly motherfucker that's talented. But if it's a dude that they want to suck their dick, they whole shit changes. Yo, mm -hmm. homeboy, I'm about to make you a millionaire. You not going to let me suck your dick? You not going to let me give you this pussy? You not going to let me? And if the nigga be like, chill, I got a wife. I got a girl. I don't want to cross. I don't want to cross the lines of business. You liable to get nothing. They liable to close the door on you and never call you back again. Why? Because this motherfucker is not appreciating the position that I'm putting him in. And no matter what he say, when I give him this money, he going to go and fuck up the bitches anyway. So he needs to start here with me. Ghost, um, I want to ask you a question. I think this is going to offend you a little bit. Because as someone I spoke about this over the phone, with back to the Shannon Sharp situation, based on the magnitude of this interview and his trajectory is he gonna be the next joe rogan uh, don't, don't you see <laughs> all right i cut you off go for it he's too he's too polished he's not gonna take the risk that joe rogan's took he's not gonna do it would shannon sharp do an interview with kanye why not i don't think so Look at all the... He's done a lot of interviews with people you never would have thought of and yeah, but revitalized their thing, career. Yeah, but a certain thing of what his brand is. Like, he's not gonna... He's not gonna go in that direction. Like, the internet likes crazy shit and Joe Rogan sometimes dips his toe. Like, I, he's asking... He's saying Cat Williams comes through. Like, he talked he talked about Joe Rogan. He's, the, the fact that he... Cat let, that might be Cat Williams' next shit. The fact that he let Cat Williams go hammer on everybody he sat down with. He has relationships with all those people that, that Cat Williams put the hammer down on. And he put the... in. Well, yeah, but none of our assumption, really he put it out in full. You never know. Things get cut out. Let me be fair. But for a two-hour interview, he let a lot of shit fly knowing he could have chopped some of that shit out. So I don't see him having an issue sitting down with Kanye I West thought, from my was, perspective. I, to be honest, he was saying a lot of shit, but I thought it was light. I didn't even think it was it was But you're a speaking, radical person though. He was though. speaking his truth. He wasn't mm -hmm. really saying nothing down. He was just he wasn't downing people in a way. He because was clowning them, but he wasn't like it wasn't it wasn't nothing that like Let's let's expand this. Esso said something respectful very, way, very right? key and important with what Shannon Sharp did and with what um Cameron's doing currently right now. And you mentioned it, how Bert and Joe Rogan spoke of it. They're they're making black media podcasters or media entities looked at at a higher level and capacity than just the nigga shit right now. But, but we we are we were at that level. We it's, just looking there's barriers. at it. We just see they've been seeing that, but we just looking at it like, oh, okay, now. But I've been seeing it like that. Mm -hmm. I think I think that What's they're up, busting bro? down barriers though. Mm -hmm. I think I think Joe Buttons did it in, in a certain way. Yep. Yeah. And I think Cameron came out of nowhere with how with how he did it mm. and went and went to sports lane. And the fact that he had an original sports background, which is which is great, right? Yeah. And, and Cam now, told me he was gonna do it. When me and Queens Flip went to Cameron's house, he said That was a lot of years. I don't ago. Do a, he didn't want to do a podcast. He didn't want to even do Queens Flip's podcast. He said, I want to do my own shit. I seen Nori, how, what he doing. He looked at with Nori, and he said, yo, I'm I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to tell you some real shit. The first guest I ever wanted on Bagfield was Cameron. Mm -hmm. Before anybody even Cam. knew. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about before we met you, when we had our original launch, my man Craze fucks with Cam and them, and Craze was supposed to get Cameron, and everybody was looking at me. Like, not everybody, them. Everybody else was like, why the hell... Do you want Cameron? I said, because Cameron could talk. Bitches like Cameron. Mm -hmm. They they pay attention to him. And I, I I said, yo, a conversation with somebody like that that's knowledgeable and, and knows hood shit too, that shit will go to a whole nother level on some real shit that Cameron was supposed to be. But Cam already knew that. he was going to do it because I remember Queen Slip was asking him mm -hmm. to do this podcast. He was like, I don't want to do it right now. And then he ended up doing Queen Slip podcast. But he wanted, he said, Nori been wanting me to do it. But 
He was asking Nori to pay him. Let me ask you a question, since you know about stuff like that. This this ain't off mm-hmm. camera people, this ain't this is off the grid. What you think about the thing going on with Queen Slip and Cam Ron pertaining to what's the girl that's on Joe Button? No, they, we yeah, spoke they to Flip. That, they, squashed they squashed that. that. Yeah. Oh, they squashed yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they squashed that. But to go back, I think Shannon Sharp's trajectory can go towards the Joe Rogan realm. Uh, it's just it's so. set up, it's, it's set up that it's a different realm. I think Shannon has the potential to go bigger. Whoa! I didn't I, even look. I, I Whoa! Think, I'm, I'm just looking at them as like they're just adding on to what's already a, a tremendous lane that if you seize it mm-hmm. and they're making people like us, they're making it, the space more valuable. That's the word mm-hmm. I'm looking for. What they're doing is they're making the space more, more valuable. And what I like about what Cam is doing and how he presented it in his marketing, this is not a podcast. It's, this it's, is a show. Because yep. I always was telling people that it all depends on how you go about your shit. Because I always would say, Yo, Heineken, we, I don't like calling. I'm, I'm not a I podcaster. I hate that word. I'm not even a YouTuber. I would be like, we have a show. Why? Because we do different things. We can talk with each other. We can bring guests on. We have a real cameraman. We don't have to have a staff because the one person that we got does what these three or four people do. Mm-hmm. 16, I seen. 16, all right. The so, most. So, so with this one Fast. guy, we, we, we have a staff. We, we got our own studio when we need to have our own studio. We rent out. We, we go on lo- location and, and shoot, too. So... I always looked at it as, as a show, but if people keep saying podcasting, it, it's bracketing. YouTube, you're you're put it in a in a in a hole. Yes. You're putting you're they're putting it in a box where it doesn't have to be. Mm. Mm. But I think Shannon has the potential to go to go even higher. Yeah, I think he does. He could be if he really Why do you take, say that because he's he's polished. He doesn't he he can take he can do any interview, but it, he has a way to for him that. I don't know if he he has a the southern market loves him, like we love him. He's a southern motherfucker. Yeah, East we love Coast, him West he can, Coast. He yeah, can, he can talk to most people. And Joe Rogan, he kind of just he has a he has a wide range, but it's it's still like a little there's a there's a lane that he that he made for himself. And you know what I know about Shannon Sharp though, mm. which when we have guests on, he don't give an opinion. Yeah, that's the main. He thing. lets them guess. See, Joe Rogan see, has opinions. See, yeah. and, and, and we, when we get guests on, we're giving them the opinions. Oh, Shannon, y'all opinionated. Yo, yo, yeah. <laughs> Shannon, <laughs> Shannon, and I'm taking a page out of Shannon's shit, because Shannon's like, word, why you say that? That's the best. What Let make you think of that? Yo, you really I think- I do that for yo, the most yo, part. Yo, you really think them dudes feel that way about- uh. Nigga. When we start talking, we'll be like, well, who? And then we giving them an example and a hypothetical and an assumption. Not no more, bro. <laughs> it's sitting up here like, for real? You really think that? That's, that's standard I, interview one-on-one shit. Good, well, I'm going to one-on-one because I don't have to give these niggas my knowledge. Yeah, well, it, depends, it on. depends on who you're interviewing to. That's what I'm talking about. It I, depends. I, I think each person, it's, it's a case by case. Certain people, I mean... I've I've gone through doing interviews with motherfuckers who can't talk, and that is just devastating. You're pulling it. Yeah, I've been. You've been through it. He has. You're with trying who? to pull shit out he's, of he's, he's been fortunate. Not. I'm not. not a I don't. Lot, but he's been through it. I'm not doing it. Not, not like how we been through it. He ain't been through that. But he would have looked and said, "My nigga." He would have paused the interview. No, I, 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 I remember I when we went through it. the whole show over. He went through it. He oh, yeah, yeah, that one interview. We did, I did oh, more than one. Oh, that I, one was crazy. Name is his name. I did more than one. I, I did one when you wasn't there. Like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I did, I, did, I did joints where we had, and we had paid joints recently. Yeah, yeah I remember that. A couple of them. That's what I was referring to. Uh, I was no, like, yo, no, my nigga. This, and there, and this, there's a motherfucker that was on my expert opinion with us and didn't talk and call enough talking about that he want to come on this show. I'm like, you don't talk. Why would you want to come on this show when we're going to ask you questions, bro? I want to know what the fuck is going on and why the fuck you don't be talking. Why would you come fuck with me? You know what I'm saying? Because I'll just take over the whole show. When nigga don't want to talk, fuck it. It's our show and this nigga's our guest. Yes. <laughs> fuck it. You know what I'm saying? How, what the else is the fuck is going on, man? What you got on the doc? Not currently. Something's gonna come to my mind. All right, uh, Lulu Lemon is distancing themselves from the founder. Interesting. He, said he had some comments on diversity. I How saw do you feel that. About I saw that. 
I buy I, I, I buy Lululemon shit. Remember when I went yeah, to yeah, Baltimore? Yeah. I, said, I, I buy the headband. I buy Lulu. It's comfortable shit. About the, the, their founder said some shit about diversity. You yeah, know. But they said that. But they claiming that's old and he's been and he's and that's why they kicked him matter off of the board and all that other. Matter of fact, of I got something. They're all racist. Who's not racist? Black people are racist against other people. Yeah. White people are racist. Racism. Jews are racist. Italians are racist. Everybody's racist against other races. Why don't they just admit it? There are exceptions to every rule. My, yeah, okay. All the other races, they like Michael Jordan. Okay, he gets yeah. a pass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple niggas that get a pass. Yeah. But for the most part... Tom Brady gets a pass? Tom Brady yeah, gets a I, pass. I, Black people yeah, like Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah. <laughs> Tom gets a pass. He's down with so, the So niggas. Michael Jordan... Tom Brady goes against racism. Yeah, it's a um, uh, Michael Jackson, maybe. It's a couple yeah. people. Yeah. It's a couple people that, yeah. that, that, that that Michael Jackson used to, but when they put that pedophilia up on oh, him, that's true. things changed. But before the pedophilia, Michael Jackson was great. He's on the list. The so. Magic Johnson. The Magic yeah, Johnson yeah. was great. Michael Jackson was on the list. Oh, wow. <laughs> was Prince on the list? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> you know what um, I'm ghost. This is your realm. That 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 situation in Miami with the aliens. What what was this about? Is this because I'm like <laughs> I don't see nothing. Yes, yes. Like what what is the I money? I want to talk about the tenth for alien too. I'm not gonna lie. Like like this. is this a money I, play? I believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, bro. Why, but why? But why? Y'all you know why? Do you know what why, ten feet why, look like? Why is the camera always fucked up when so these videos far. come down? Yes. There was another one a couple months ago in Vegas, a police call, same shit, and everybody was fucked. But I, in the video, you can't see nothing. Okay, I'm going to tell you where I saw something. I, I never saw an a, a alien, but I definitely saw a couple things that looked like a UFO formation, and Aaron Rodgers posted it in the Hamptons. Well, UFOs I'm not exist. saying aliens don't I, I, exist. A, 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 Aaron Rodgers posted that in the Hamptons with the shit going yeah, by. Yeah, during the shit. During the during the the Miami shit, people have video of like some shit in the sky too. I, I think I think this extraterrestrial of some I'm some capacity. I ain't gonna lie. I'm Why? Scared. Why? I'm fucking because the unknown scares me. I and you know me. I'm, I'm a dude, and, and everybody will tell you this. Everybody. But what this. are you scared of I exactly? Work well, better with information. But but what are you afraid but of? I just said the unknown. No, but unknown of what? What you think they're gonna attack us? Bro, get a ghost and shit too. Yo, bro. What, the, what, what don't y'all understand about? No, but the, when you no, it's, but it's called it's, it's it's a terminology. The fear of what of the unknown. But what is un, but what do you think they're a threat? Y'all don't it's, know shit. It, it, you don't know if it's a good thing. You're just assuming that it's cool and they've been yeah, but here. There's so many that. things that but you don't, don't know. There's so but, many but, things that you don't know that you should be way more scared of. Too, yeah, right? like what? Like gas. Like there's. I, I should be more worried about gas. Let me tell you something. Yes, I've been dead air. Is the thing you should be thinking about. There's so much fucking gas in New York. Yeah. How many po- lines of gas? You know are what in the I'm street? more afraid of? You see that steaming shit coming out yep. the fucking out the tongue out the fucking manholes and stuff in the city. Uh, That's alien, gas. Alien take this whole shit out. Gas is gonna blow up. I, you know why? It's I gonna be some You should. You uh, should alien worry. could take this if the aliens is a real. They can take this whole shit out. A gas what are we talking about? Blow I'm gonna give you a concept. Alien, you a concept. Uh, alien take that. this whole shit. I'm gonna give you a concept. If an alien has the technology to come here. They, for the most part, they should have the technology to take us out. I don't. I think when they bypass and come through here, it's an accident. They, I think they look at us like roaches. Like oh. they don't care to be around us. They let them stay over there. Certain things I think is very arrogant. Like when you think aliens are gonna kill you or a plane is gonna crash. Why not? I no, think no, no. It's why very you arrogant, why, arrogant to think? Anytime the, a powerful force has landed in another area and they because, overwhelm, because they what, take over. Yeah, but what makes you think that they want to take us over? I mean, it could because be possibilities. Because Earth, Earth, if you if the Anunnaki's came here because the Earth is wealthy, they came here to mine for gold, gold. and all the rest of that stuff. That's why they would want to come here for what the, the natural gold for, for the for the natural resources because this is what they say. Because because people act like they everybody reads on everybody reads on what they read on. I know about this. Who's they? Hold on, let him finish this. I know about this. <laughs> Who's okay, they? hold on, hold on, let Listen. him finish this. The the Anunnaki's and, 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 and is they. If we gonna say it on camera, that's they. Okay, they the niggas that made the humans. If we niggas wanna really talk about it, God, it wasn't God. It was them that made us. 
to rape and pillage this fucking land. Mm -hmm. That's real shit. So if they made you and they created you to rape and pillage the land and they haven't been prevalent and I'm getting chills on my eyes because I don't talk about these niggas. Every time I start talking about these niggas, shit get crazy around me, bro. All right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when If they made it to rape and pillage, if they're coming back here and we're starting to see them, it's something going on. That's the unknown for me because everybody's looking at the... the, 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 the those are the people that we're considering to be the, the extraterrestrials. That's who they're talking about. If you pay attention to the abyss and the movies, if you really research this shit, this shit is real. So they, they, they try to tell you, when you look at movies, if you pay attention, they try to tell you what's coming all the time. How the fuck do they know the information? It's been written down. It's given to them. They try to tell you what's happening it. before it happens, but people don't fucking pay attention. Of course Even not. with Outbreak. Even with all this stuff. Oh, Outbreak's not really gonna happen. We got technology. What happens? COVID, nigga. Now, now they got this new respiratory shit. If you over 50, this shit is taking but, niggas out. But, but, I'm, what are you gonna say, Ghost? I'm not yeah, saying anything. I'm waiting for you. Huh? I, I mean, honestly, we're living longer, which is the original design of the Anunnaki's. We we used to live for hundreds of years. And yeah, but it, then we're gonna d download our consciousness and live on. Yeah, that. of course. That's why they want the bodies that can. That's why Earth is so beautiful. The natural body can survive in this atmosphere, whereas on other planets we would either get crushed based on pressure, burnt up, burnt up frozen, uh, and then Explode. and then other planets get hit with meteors. The yeah, fact, meteors too. nigga, like the, I'm talking about motherfucking killers. Like, I thought boom. if we get hit with a meteor, it'll fucking cause all. No, no, depending on the size. Oh, okay. Like, like if it's one of them, it's, it's a rap. I'm just curious because I don't talk about shit. I, 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 I don't know. No, nah, it's outside. the size. I ain't got a problem asking a question. Just like, like if you take a put, uh, a pebble and you drop it in, in the pond and makes that the uh, same same concept. But same concept, I got you. But I think right now they just be tourists. And they just be like, oh fuck, I landed. Tourists. Yeah, I landed in a plan with these would roaches. They tourists here where they made us to build it. Why would they want to come and be a tourist here? That's not if we're talking about bad fuel. What, that if, makes, what if that makes us. no sense for finances? Okay. What if, what if it's us that we're seeing? I've yeah. heard that. Like you, us from the future. From like the future. You ever heard that? No. I never that we've evolved to that point, and these are our future selves that learn to be on other planets, and we're coming back accidentally. Never, yeah, heard I've that. heard that for a because lot of if years. You look at it. It's like they don't have. They don't have like sexual parts. Mm -hmm. They don't. They've have, advanced like, past that. They have the split ears. Houses. Mm -hmm. It's probably like a spacesuit or something. So we don't think they fucking. No, they it's be... probably a spacesuit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that we don't even know about mm -hmm. some future shit that we don't know about that helps you travel through time or, and it just looks crazy. Because technically, they said time travel theoretically. In the future, we ain't fucking anyway though. Yeah, it's not gonna be. It's People done. People fucking after. less and less. Every day. Yeah. Next few hundred years is going to be... They are? Yeah. What? Yo, you seen the sex robots? The sex... Yeah. You seen the updated sex robots coming out? No, I don't see none of this. Stuff. I got to see yeah. it. <laughs> he don't no. want to see none of that, shit. <laughs> no, I don't see it. Why are you asking me these questions when you know you ain't seen it? You know I ain't seen this shit. <laughs> that shit look crazy, man. Yeah, no, nah, it's it's Pretty getting to that you point. Won't. You just got they emotion. They they for women, not for men. You see, you thinking it's for men and shit? It's for women. The, the sex robots. Robot. Yeah, the robot sex robots fucking, for women. They walking and fucking? Not walking, but they're there and they show emotional support. They talk to you, they listen. Yeah. Niggas don't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking it's for men. The sex robot is for the woman. Oh, they already using the, dildos, um, they got the market. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> why, would, why would people want to have sex less? Sex, sex, is, they want sex less, is but it's bomb. Like, sex is fucking inspiring. It's not the sex that's the issue. It's the lead up. It's the, the person work. attached to it. Yeah, that's all it is. Do people want to do all the effort? Remember when we said last episode, niggas ain't fighting for the pussy bro, no more? Bro, I, I stand corrected, bro. <laughs> yeah. The sex ain't the problem. Stand, it's the shit that leads up to listen, it. Listen, bro. We, yo, we right, you right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we right, you right, bro. Right, wait, wait. I got, I got one. I got one. I this stand good, corrected, this bro. This was a good one. Would you rather have... Oh. I see a shout out to YouTube because they were going crazy on this one. Would you rather have 100K right now or flip a coin for 10 million? Flipping the coin. Taking the 100. 
I'm because it's only that's a fifty percent chance. I'm going hey, for it right now. A hundred k splash will pay off everything that I need, <laughs> and I'm out of here. I'm a bet on me yeah. all the time. I'm yeah. not betting on the coin. See, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm betting on me. The ten million, I understand. Now, if it's a couple of coin flips, and if you can get the ten million, I get hundred thousand. No, 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 no. I borrow some money. For you. Of course, you know because but, 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 but if it's for, if, if it's for me and go say, I'm gonna give you a hundred thousand s. I'm gonna flip this coin, and I got a hundred and two million. I, if I flip this coin, I get ten million. I'm like, what are we talking about? Zell that. Let, um, let, let me cash app that. Yeah. You know, wire that. Well, how, however, you got to send me that hundred. Send that it's tax free. It's, yeah. it's a gift. Mm -hmm. Give me my guarantee, honey. I'm a guarantee, nigga. I, I, Never fuck up your for show for well, maybe. I mean, listen, I'm gonna say this. We're getting to the point. A hundred K is literally 30, 40, 50,000 That's why I gotta get it the, right now. The, the, so a hundred K ain't even enough to have to support two functioning adults that want to live a moderate lifestyle. It ain't to uh, support no, it's no, a no, splash no, of money. I, 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 I'm just giving you context on value. Now, if you're telling me you're giving me a 50-50 shot, not a one out of a 100, not a one out of a million, niggas go and play, niggas will drop $50 on, on a fan duel on a fucking 39-leg parlay. For, for $2,000, and like, I hope, oh, motherfucking LeBron missed the pass. Now, all a 50% chance at $10 million? And you know if I hit, you getting 200 You getting 200 That motherfucker getting 200 A 14, um... We, a 14-leg parlay just paid a dude 459000 for $10, so... I'm I'm cool uh, with that's I, that's the, I'm that's cool. I'm cool with taking my hundred thousand and how about that on, and betting on some parlay. That parlay, the odds on that is way crazier than the fifty percent coin flip. I, 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 that, think but, about that. But see, but what you're what, what you're not see, you be going past what the other fact is. That's one <laughs> side of it. The other fact is you have a hundred thousand. If you ever see a hundred thousand dollars in front of your face, nigga, you're not gonna say. Give me that coin unless you got money. Give me that hundred k. Mean, nah, you got it. This certain like you say, bet on yourself. A fifty percent chance. They don't even give you that odds in Vegas. Get, that's real shit. Yes, they do. No, we no, no. Bet on black or no, red. no, no. Listen. At the roulette No, table, no. You, yes. No. Listen, that's why I like roulette. Listen, I play a lot of that, roulette. Listen, listen, that is listen, in Vegas, and that's fifty no, percent. No, no, wait, actually, no, because because of the green. Because of the green. This, this and they fucked us one time. I remember we had the whole board full. You gonna say because of the and green? And this motherfucker landed on green, son. Yo, let me we tell you something. So There's a thing called break in Vegas. These niggas do shit to make sure if you're a gambler and you're at a sixty percent. Win, win factor, they don't let you back in the casino. They don't let you back. They like, hold on, you're cheating. Our shit is not set up for any human to be lucky enough to win 60% of the time. That motherfucker can't come back. They, the, the automatic count card counter, they got this shit so randomized, it won't even let you win. If you win, they be like, hold up, nigga. Yo, ass, so go get these perks, come back, bust your shit down. That's that's how I'm looking at it. And, and as a guy who's made the type of money you've made and flipped the money you, you made, I understand why what you would do with 100k. 100k for you is really two million dollars, because I know how you would flip it. Me, I'm like 50 percent on 10 million. That's what it is. What what would you do, Ghost? Personally. <laughs> I'm already broke, so if I flip the coin, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, either way, so I'm flipping that bitch. That was bad. <laughs> Would you would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago or an average person today? Average person today. I don't want that pre that pre that what's that that pre uh, that medieval historic <laughs> shit, <laughs> nigga. You gotta understand what niggas, medicine niggas, was yo, yo, a thousand years ago, living, bro. Yo, niggas was living at thirty three years old back then, and that was an eternity. Why the fuck would I want? Oh, I'm gonna live thirty three years, nigga. What? Nah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you don't got X ray. Give, give me. You don't give, got penicillin. Give me, give me Harlem with the thoughts and all that. Yeah, as an average yeah. man, I'm good. 
Think about it. Nigga, you get syphilis. They give you a fucking little pill. You good. That no, shit. you get syphilis a thousand. You said a thousand years ago. You oh, got, it's a rap, nigga. a thousand years ago, not a hundred. Yeah, royalty. Yo, you he's, royalty. Royalty. he's talking about back in the days, days Yo, nigga. Yo, yo, my nigga. Fighting with the sword, nigga. Black, the pirate Blackbeard, they said he had it. In order to calm the pain down, he was injecting mercury into his dick. <laughs> to calm what pain down? Syphilis. In his dick, mercury. They took a needle and he injected mercury into his dick. I'm good. At, nigga, I got YouTube. I got modern medicine. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. Snapchat to get, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. I'm cool with that. Oh, what, what, what I'm cool going to do? So why y'all keep calling yourselves kings and shit? Like, that's the I don't use that shit. Saying, I use the word gods. When the fuck am I going to call myself a king? Out when the fuck out of here. When the winners are not, not you. Okay, talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on that. I'm not on that. Who's my, I'm not on that. My queen. I'm a king. That's my rib. I'm not on that type of time, son. <laughs> I'm a regular ass nigga. I'm not. I'm not throwing the extra sauce on it. Oh, that's my queen. That's my king. Oh God, we're doing this. Oh, we wear this. We do, no nigga. Uh, no, we're, we're people. That's it. Yo, that's funny though. Like a thousand years he ago, said, why y'all need to be calling each other? Yo, 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 yo queen, King bro. King James, for that you know the founder of the King you James. About LeBron? No, the founder of the King James Bible. That that version. You know what he used to do to keep his feet warm. He would have infant babies tucked yeah, in yeah, to keep at, his feet warm. At, That's real shit, ghost. At, 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 at his feet, yeah. So, nah, we good with, with today's time, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> if the, all right. <laughs> Does the richest crazy. person pay for the check at the restaurant every time? Yeah, most of the time they do. It's unfair, but they do. Yeah, for the most part. Whoever got the most money, if they, it's they not got... already, if it's not set up, whereas, oh, we're going out for gold shit and we're all going to split the bill, it's always the richest nigga. Mm -hmm. And if he don't pay for it, niggas looking at him crazy. Yeah. It's especially if it don't make no. No, 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 bro. Yo. When that check come out, niggas' eyes go, ha, ah, as that check come out, niggas... Yo, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna, and then as soon as the nigga, as soon as, I'm going to shout out Clue. As soon as Clue go like this. Oh, and, niggas, yo, yo, niggas, yo, yo. it's a sigh of relief. Okay, okay bro. Because <laughs> when I'm at the table, I'm not going to lie. I'm the only nigga to know this nigga's paying for it. He'll, he'll be like, I don't know these niggas like that. No, that's it. But as soon as he go in his pocket, niggas be like. Yo, it's oh, a sigh of relief, bro. bro. And I know it's true. You know why? Because I'm the only nigga like. Yo, give me another drink, nigga. Niggas are sitting around like this. Yo. Like, I was just, yo, we at a premium restaurant and niggas ordering burgers, nigga. Yes. I'm up there, motherfucker. Hey, yo, let me get the scampi. Let me get the fucking shrimp cocktail to yo, start. Son. Bring the ribeye out after. And when my lemon drop come out, bring the bottle of champagne right after that. Yo, niggas my just nigga. looking like, who what about, pays? what about What about like a vacation, splitting a vacation? And Wait, what, who, what, what you mean? With your Wait, girl? It's a rich person and you, like, Nah, 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 you pay for it. I pay, yeah. you pay for your own vacation. Yeah. But normally the rich nigga has perks there for you. So so say so say you go on a trip with them. No, be start like, from the beginning. Before y'all even get there. Who how's it getting paid out? Oh they Rich niggas will niggas be like, niggas don't know. I'm just saying no, this because no. okay, this, this is the internet. Niggas, this is internet. He's gonna give you the play. I just an invite to um to um, Jamaica for for me and my wife. So they call you like, yo, we we all going to Jamaica, blah blah blah. Yo, we got the whole ho hotel where where we're staying. This is the rate. Okay. These are the different rooms that you could have. Pick one. Are y'all coming? If y'all are coming, this is what you got to pay for, blah, blah, blah. You're paying for your ticket. You pay for your hotel and all that type of shit. Usually rich niggas go to an all-inclusive. All, 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 all all yeah. So they don't have to worry about if these other people mm. can pay. They all meeting up. But then the activities normally be on them. The dinners... The a, the a, the a, a, ATV ride, yeah. the excursions, yeah. the pool party, the that's cabana. not bad. I ain't mad you at that. You go to the cabana. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm with that. Yeah. yeah, you pay for your you pay your way. Pay your way. That's that's normally that's, that's more than fair. You know, normally, and then you got a couple dollars. Like when me and my wife go, we'll go do our own thing too. Pardon me. And you then know here's what a here's a we Esso and I had an incident. Don't offer to pay, and then when the check come. Yo, we had an incident one time. Yo, if there was a video camera, it would have made world star. It was bad, bro. It was bad. And I and I overreacted. No, bad. no, 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 no. You did not overreact. Overreacted. Bad. Here's what the nigga did, right? Ghost. It's three guys. No, you gotta say the beginning. 
No, 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 listen. No, but you you got see, but I, you don't I, know the beginning. Because the beginning, but, but before we got there, we on a thread. See, Heineken wasn't on a thread. The dude said he sold some property and he made eighty thousand dollars. Who want to go out and eat? He paying. So all the girls on the thread is chiming in. I'm not saying nothing. So the nigga says, yo, S.O., are you coming? Blah, say, blah. I said, yo, I think I'll come. So one of the girls on, 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 on the thread said, let's go to this spot in Jersey and let's go here. Hmm. Boom. Go ahead. All right. So we get there. Yo, the girls are going hammer. They ordering. They ordering. I'm like, something ain't right here. So I just order my food. So orders the food, right? This dude, the one that said he's paying, he came with I think two or three girls all two together. Other, two or three girls. Yeah, all he together. Came with three girls. Yeah, there was about three guys, which is us, and nine girls all together. Eight or nine. He came with three joints by himself. Yeah. So from my assumption, it looks like the three girls that he came with weren't in de- weren't down to reciprocate. If the game was gonna go down, so he decides to pay for the other. What does that mean? Dude? Listen, they're not fucking. The girls act like they're not. Yeah, just say it, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm, yeah. So he decides he's gonna pay for other the three other girls. So when the check comes, he walks up to Esso. No, you no, miss, no, you're uh, missing it. No, that's not what happened. He flagged the fucking waitress down separately. He got the check and we didn't even know he was getting the check. He gets the check and he he puts his card down and he's he's walking towards me. Yeah, and then he gives the rest of the check to us. So he said, "You could cover the rest." The check was nine hundred. He so, paid three. Yeah. So now, so so pulled a fifty cent move, right? He let he lets it go. Ten seconds go by. He's like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> yo, what, is this, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I looked at him. I said, yo, I said, this shit was, how the fuck? I'm going to be paying $600. And he's the baller that suggested and he's paying $300. And he bought three bitches. I didn't bring no bitches. I'm married. <laughs> The only person I bought with me was him. I said, because I'm not going to a dinner with all of these bitches and my man don't come, I don't want no problems. That's why he was there. He wound up giving me half the bill. Yeah. And me and the bitches just get into it. One I, chick, uh, I ain't going to say, I ain't going to go into it, but she told me how if her husband was here, husband, first of all, I'm not your husband. Second of all, I didn't invite these people out. If this is my wife and I'm telling, and I'm taking my wife out, and I'm telling her to invite her friends, of course I'm paying for that. Y'all niggas not my wife. How the fuck you think my wife going to feel that I'm coming to pay $600 for a bunch of miscellaneous bitches? Did anybody think about that, yeah. motherfucker? Think about that. I paid $300 just to eat a bowl of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I'm sitting up here like, yo, I got a wife. I'm not, I'm not trying to solicit pussy. I'm not tricking for y'all Mm-mm. vagina. Sorry. I'm not a part of the game. My bad. You know what I'm saying? But when they understood that, then they, we, we, we going back and forth, and the niggas is drunk. I'm telling the bitch, fuck you and fuck you. Shit got crazy over something that we didn't even have, have nothing to do with. So if you the nigga that suggested dinner and you made 90 grand, what are we talking about, bro? You're the one supposed to pay. The one supposed to pay. That's one he th- fucked up a whole... And then with the same person, when we was in Atlanta, am I lying? Eight to ten niggas was out with us. Did I pay Heineken? Pay for everybody. I paid for everybody, nigga. How? What are you talking about? You why? But why? Why would you go with the same nigga? No, that was before. That was before. Uh, I did that before. Yeah. I stepped out. This I, I, this who I am, ghost. I don't. I don't wait for niggas to do shit. We all in 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 Atlanta. We out there doing shit. Blah blah blah. Me and me and how I made a couple dollars. I, m- most of these niggas is my peoples. He was my peoples. Nigel was there. Nigel's my peoples. He's my peoples. The other people that was there. Mm-hmm. My man Coke. They all. They are basically my peoples, and niggas do different things. Coke picks us up. And Nigel helped us make the money. Mm-hmm. This is my man. So I said, yo, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a splurge on niggas. I paid for everybody, nigga. Mm-hmm. It wasn't nothing. So this, when the same nigga, one of the same niggas that benefited from me paying turns around. See, that's the other backstory. Turns around and does some stupid shit like that. I'm like, so I paid for you in Atlanta. You suggested this shit. 
You paying three hundred and I'm paying six hundred? I don't think so, Mister Ballarama. You're bugging. Yeah, son. That's that that shit. If you oh. got the money, you normally pay. I'm not saying that it's right, but because of because I, I know a nigga like Clue pays. You know what I do? I take him to dinner mm-hmm. all the time. I'm probably the only nigga that besides his girl that buys shit for him on some real shit. That's just how I be when niggas got money. I I fucking give Clue shorts. Brand new, and he be like, yo, how, how, how much of the shorts? I'm looking at him like, you my friend. I don't need no money for the fucking shorts. You keep them, bro. You don't. Yeah. You always paying for nigga shit. Yeah, that shit's so. up. <laughs> That's like an unwritten rule. Rich nigga pay. Yeah, rich nigga pay. The richest nigga there. Yeah. Because in the rooms where, that's what I'm saying, in the rooms where I got the most money, nine times out of ten, I'm paying. And I feel bad if I'm not. Because I'm like, they don't got the money I got. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like a trickle down theory. I've been places with Clue. I know Clue don't. Clue no, I ain't got the money he got, and he don't question it. It be big bills, bro. Like, but what's this thing with people that they want to pay the bill so bad? What you mean? That's flossing. Nah, nah. It be some shit like it be on some humble shit. Like they want, like they want to be, like they know that this person is rich and they got it. Da, 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 but they want to step up. Like, nah, nah, I got it. I got it. You they didn't hear that? They're flossing. They're flossing. There's women around. That's they want to show off. Nah, even if it don't no even got to be they women. Gotta be women. Say, it don't got to be women, but that's they floss. I don't need... I was once one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was the nigga that was like, yo, bro, put your, put your little card away. We all got platinum. I got the black shit. Like, stop. Yo, put your little card away. I appreciate the thought, bro. I was like, oh, cause I don't want niggas thinking I, I need something from niggas. I'm not like these niggas. That feel, that's why niggas do it. They want to stand out. You know what I'm saying? Ego, yes. I'm not I'm not like ghosts. Ghosts ghost don't give a fuck. I don't ghost. have shit. Yeah. I'm, bro- I'm broke. No, no, ghost, I'm the brokest at the table, usually. Go, go, <laughs> ghosts going to eat this shit, mm-hmm. and I can't. Let me get a taste of that. Oh, we got the wine? Yeah. Let me get some of that. Nah, let me get some of that. Let me get some of that. I don't give a fuck. Me, I'm I'm, I'm ordering whatever. No, I'll, I'll do that if I know I, I, I got it. Like, I can get it. It's cool. But if I'm, I don't got it, I'm, I'm going to just shut up and get, be thankful for what I got. <laughs> See, that's like why it's bad for me, because I take who I am everywhere. If, if I'm paying... Or if I'm not paying, like I'm still me, the same nigga, nigga. I'm not. If I ain't got it, you gonna know. I but, nah, but you I'm know what I learned though? I got it, nigga. It's always an issue with the check when there's more girls at the tables than guys. If it's always guys, so? it's true. Yes, no, yes. No. I went out with nothing yes. but girls, and it was. I was like, it's, you so, you're like you want me to just pay for it, and then whenever you want to get it. It's always an issue. <laughs> Yo, no, bro. Because they let me let me say this. Yo, because they don't want to pay. Nah, they want the guy. No, they don't want to pay. Yo, yo, that's the mind. I'm telling you, that's the mind. No, if, I it's one, if it's one, one. Yo, it's nine. Oh, if it's nine girls there alone, you know what they're gonna say? Oh, girl, give me your fifty dollars and every. It's all good. If it's one nigga at that table, she be like, has to pay. No, I listen bro, to what I've been through. No, I, was I understand, there, bro. But what, listen to what, and what, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like that's just that's pay, the point. Y'all want to give me some? I, that's like, the point. I'm not disagreeing with you. The fact that there's the num if it's more girls than guys, if it's oh, you've never seen at a table where it's all men. It was a discrepancy with getting the check paid. But it's not a discrepancy yeah. when it's all women neither. That's what I'm trying to tell no, you. No, no, you're it not be, hearing what I'm they, saying. They know they got their method. To, y'all, they, y'all overhearing. They figure it out, but y'all, they got their method. Listen I don't to know what I'm what saying again. You're not getting what I'm saying. When it's guys and girls, and it's more girls than guys, it's an issue. But if it's more guys than girls, it doesn't become an issue. It don't make no sense if there's more guys than girls. I, this is what I'm trying to tell you. No matter what, if there's more girls than guys, even when you said one guy, if you take that one guy out, they're going to figure it out. But once that one guy's in there, somehow there's not enough money. That, that's what we say. That's it's just not- you looking at it because you've been that one guy. Nah. It's <laughs> all, yo, I'm teling you, people that do work in restaurant services have always said that. It's like, it's been a study. They're like, yo, when it's guys, it's, yo, I've never heard, yo, check, it's an issue. Group parties, even my man's, he's worth like 20 million. He's like, he had a same, that same issue you had when we went to that same, the same exact restaurant. He was in there, same shit, mad girls. It's like, yo, bro, you the richest nigga. Do this, do that, da 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 And he was already outside the restaurant. They couldn't figure it out. Even though everyone paid their money, they was still $700 short. 
I believe it, but that's but but you're making the point of what we're saying that even if it's one guy in there, the whole thing changes for mm-hmm. the women. If they're by themselves, they're gonna divvy it down. It's no problem. Women take girls trips together. It be three girls in one room. One room it be nigga, sway- it be, nigga, it be they, four, they, nigga. They work it out. Is what I'm saying. But if you have a dude. Put you put one dude involved, that girl be like, oh damn, I don't know. now I, gotta, I can't. I gotta, I gotta do, they want to do crowded. different it's, shit. It's, 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 it's yeah, to no, this, I, it's, it's to that because that's their scheme to get you to pay. No, I listen to what I'm trying to tell <laughs> Not you. Not even the scheme, but they'll tolerate certain shit around women that they won't mm. tolerate when there's a nigga right there. Yo, I told you, I I said this one story. I went out to eat for a birthday dinner. The bill was like. I think a thousand dollars. It was twelve people. These motherfuckers were short. My my meal altogether with the person was a hundred. They was I'm sending them watching them argue. I said I'm gonna put three hundred dollars down. I did more than enough, and they still were short. I'm like this is some bullshit, bro. They wasn't short. They was just, just like they. Just like they shorted you for the hundred, and then you put the extra. Mm-hmm. Here you 200. go, and they still couldn't figure it out. No, they they figured it out. No, they didn't. Trust no. me, they didn't figure it out. They they figured it out. Oh no, they had to go to get. They, they, I'm telling they you. Yeah, they 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 they, they stalled out all the way. This is what they do. They stalled out all the way to the end. That's all. And then if I gotta go pay, I gotta go walk down a block. Then I'll do it. But they stalling out. That's just what people do. When either they don't have money or they don't want to pay. It's just the way of the world. I, I, I get that. But if if the bill's a thousand. But I never what's up? went to a restaurant and didn't have it. Like, I, I don't oh, know. Oh, no, no. Oh, you, God. this. Yeah. Girls go to <laughs> No, no, no. A lot of money. dirty niggas do that. Yo, no, I, a lot. That. Yo, bro, my nigga. It's a lot of niggas. I, I used to be I like, I don't, whoa. See, I don't deal. Those type of niggas. Don't enter into my realm. You can't even fuck with me if you even with that state of mind. You can't even try it. Like I'm not, I'm not even, saying they try, even, but I'm they exist. Going, I'm, I'm not even going out. What I'm what I'm explaining to you is I wouldn't know if they exist. I don't go out with niggas who ain't gonna go in their pocket. That don't make no sense to me. If I'm around a nigga and you eating and you thinking you're not going in your pocket, trust me, you're going in your pocket, and that's the last time you ever gonna be around me or my friends. It's easy. It's not hard. People, you tolerate what you tolerate. If you tolerate dirty nigga activity and you say, oh, I've been around with this nigga and, and he don't come pay, or I've been around with this nigga, mm. that's that's who you're surrounding yourself with. I choose not to, I not, mean, not to surround myself with people who I even think remotely would do that. I talked to niggas when I first met Heineken. Yo, listen, bro, I'm going to this restaurant and it's going to be this and that. Are you cool with paying that, bro? Okay. That's just that's just what it is because I'm not going to get there and play no games with you. And be, and I be, mean, but what you got to look at it, it's like a stove that's hot. You know it's hot. You had one bad experience, whatever. And you'll, you'll say stoves are hot. So when I see one time, I'm like, all right. And then I hear people say this. These these are the motherfuckers that do that. I'm like, niggas really do that shit. You don't have no pride. Stay the fuck home. Stay home if you don't got it. I don't be hearing that stuff. That's why I said I don't know. Like like yo, it's a lot of scum niggas doing that shit. I'm like, stay home. If I don't got it, I'm staying home. That's it. To sit there, what you magically think money's gonna appear or someone's gonna pay it? As a man, uh, I can forgive a woman thinking like that. Why? We, uh, why can't you forgive a woman? You can't it's forgive a man. It's set, niggas will always try to pay but for a girl. You, it's then, set up for them. Then, but then all the stuff that you say about women what? makes no sense. In regards. Now, because now you're giving them a platform to forgive them for something that you know that they're doing wrong. That's set, that's dead set no, against your personality. No, no, it's not. I'm Listen, I just because I make mention of it, it's not something like, oh, my God, why, why is this? Why is that? I get the game. All I'm pointing out is an obvious situation of, yo, no matter what it is, if there's more women than men, it's always a discrepancy of the bill. Always. I've never seen a time where it just got paid. There was no talking, no no you interaction, no argument. Discrepancy? You know why it's a discrepancy? Because the dumb niggas at the table are supposed to realize that they're supposed to pay. Right? If homeboy didn't tell me, if, if homeboy didn't say he was paying, right, I wouldn't have went. No, of course not. Because I know if it's nine bitches there and two niggas, the two niggas are paying. 
This is the way of the world. I don't know why people be be upset about it. Why they're acting like it's going to change. They're looking at the women for the outlook. This is what it is. You want to be a baller. You want to get bitches. You want to be outside. You mm. have to spend your money. It's law. Right, hey, let's <laughs> go for it. Fellas, get over it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting because 2024, people going to be washing dishes. Niggas is still paying in 2024. No. They're going to scam. They're going to try to sell more drugs. I don't think so. They're going to try to do things. Niggas are paying, bro. I, it's no way around it. They've been paying since it was dirt roads and horses. I, I, I you didn't hear what I said. I never said niggas ain't paying. I just said motherfuckers going to be washing dishes because people are going to play that game still, which is what, sad. What, what's the game? Yo, I, I'm going, just, going there and they don't have money. Yes. Which is, yo, real shit. When I say that, I don't say that as some. Thing like, oh yeah, it's dope shit, or I think it's cool. It's rid even me saying it, I know it's ridiculous, but it happens so much. I'm like, how can you do that? Because they're going with thoughts of other people paying. That's yo, that's it's not thoughts you're right. of a bill. Uh, like, it's not thoughts of a bill. I'm shaking because I feel dirty of the thought of it's, why? Why? I don't, I don't just it. because yo, my nigga, even it, it. to sit there as a man and you're going with a bunch of strangers and you're thinking. Other people gonna pay for you, and you like, and you don't even have enough for your own shit. That's crazy to me. I uh, we've all gone places knowing that somebody else is gonna pay, and you don't got it. We've all gone places and done that. I don't even know why you're trying to act like like I'm not even gonna blow it up. We've all gone places, didn't have no money to pay for the bill, and gone mm. places that knew other people was gonna pay. I've done it and invited niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we talking Yo, about? Yo, Gable. <laughs> What are we talking about? My niggas be like, yo, how you bring a nigga? I've bought him. <laughs> so I don't even know what he's talking about. He's gone many a places and not had the money to pay for the shit and knew somebody else was going to pay. Yeah, but so how was that? So you ain't shivering when you win. When you doing no, it, no, 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 no. But, but, but that bill is like 50 racks. It doesn't matter. It's the same. It's 50 the, racks yo, is bro, way different yo, than $300. Bro, it's, the, it's, okay. the same, it's the same premise. You're going somewhere. You know you can't afford it. Somebody else is going to pay. It's all right with that. When I have my money, I, I, I like to give people comfort that they're going to have a good time and they can leave here and, 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 and not worry about it. It makes the world go round. Period. No, I, I get what you're saying is all valid, but you know, there's this level to this. The dinners we've gone to, this we're talking about five figures, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm what? not, I'm not they, they ain't been no 50. It's only been one dinner that's been like a fifty thousand dollar dinner. Okay. Like, all that other stuff. It's only been one, bro. One. Uh, the the, the rest are at least eighteen hundred. It ain't, 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 ain't been but that doesn't no matter. I've been around <laughs> yo, we went to a lot of people though. No, I've been, I've been there was one we went to, some girl. I, I got go, crazy on the table. I go to dinner. Yo, bro, yeah. my, a lot of people. Bro, people. they're my like 50, 14. My 50K yeah, tenor goes. My 50K dinner sponsored by Def Jam was 3500 At Chop House. See? But I that was still a lot of people too, though. 10? That's a lot of people, bro. But but it's still thirty. It's thirty five hundred dollars yeah, nigga. That's an ill number. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, actually I, for 10 I've people, done though. $350 was, a person? A person? Yeah. No, yo. He, 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 don't, he don't know. You bucket, you bucket bro. <laughs> you bucket, bro. You bucket, bro. buck 50. Yeah. Buck 70. We don't went out to eat. People? No, we don't went with four people and bro, our bill was 350. Yeah. Yo, yo, bro. So it's 350 yo, a person? Yo, bro, when they give you the chart, the highest thing on the chart was 169. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, what are you talking about? I, I've been doing I just, I've been, <laughs> but, you, but look at where you yo, at, though. My dinner at fucking Mr. Child's for my birthday with four people was 700 and change. Child's. But th that's where I eat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> that, don't, th th those are the places if that I went, eat. If we went to the, the Chinese spot in L.A., how much would it have been? Chinese spot in L.A., about 125. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it but ain't the same many. shit. Yeah. It ain't too, too many, many Chinese spots. If we lived in LA, I would be. I would eat oh dinner at that Chinese God. spot every night. <laughs> Nigga, I would be like, up. ghost, ghost. You know I'm pulling up at seven thirty. <laughs> Bitch, have my table and my reservation. <laughs> Don't play with me, okay? <laughs> That's a totally different beast. We not getting that no way. The vibe. You got to pay for the vibe. Well, we be setting the vibe for the most part. The so. vibe. The vibe. Yo, listen. Uh, I just. I'm a picky eater. 
course. And my and my stomach has and my stomach has. Your ghost makes so much. Yo, these niggas is picky eaters. I'm a yeah. picky eater. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, even every like time Carmine's, like I don't even go to Carmine's like that no more. And I used to go to Carmine's a lot. I just be like, yo, the shit is good, but I'm not eating all that heavy chicken and pasta. Like my, it's so crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm fucking different. I'm more into fucking going to the you like, know light portions. Of me. Yeah, shit like that. I, I like salads and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? My only problem is I like martinis and champagne. I love it. I love it. All right, last one. Last one. Last one. Who's the most important person in the U.S. The the motherfucker who runs the president for real. All right, wait. whoever that nigga name is. Um um, wh- whatever them niggas that's running BlackRock and, and, and that shit. Those is the most important. The Coca Cola niggas. Huh? Coca Cola brothers. Yeah. All right, publicly, who's the most important person? Publicly, the president. It, the president. The president. Where does the president live? Supposedly in the White House. Why would he live in a place where everybody knows? Where he lives? You know? My nigga. Cause he got secret tunnels and shit. Yo, bro. Do you understand? And it's a fortress. It's safe. Let me let me explain something to you. Obama, when he would come to New York and go to Harlem, up to FDR, do you know how many cars was on the FDR with him? None. Zero. None. I, I, it's a sight to see. When they're crossing, when the UN is in New York and they're crossing 42nd Street, you know how long I was stuck in traffic to let them go across? Maybe Two hour. hours. I was about to say, maybe I watched hour. an MTA bitch park her bus and read a book. Trust me, if you think you're going to go through there and not D- get sniped. But it don't matter, go through. But I've been it, to D.C. But isn't it a smart... I, it looks too accessible for me. But to that's the that point. But isn't, it, but isn't it a smart thing? Like, say say he does have a house. Say say they do go in and they do have a secret quarters. It would be smart to have a secret quarters. I think he lives... I don't even think he lives there. I just think he lives some, like somewhere else, yeah. It, it would be smart. That's home. That's home, home base and shit like they that. They think like, oh, that's I mean, the I mean who would technically want to live there really? Because they really do business out of there. It's like it's a business. Truck, like man. people are coming in and out of there. They're doing. They're doing I, I think it's. I think. In the White House. I think. I'll take what you're saying and what Ghost is saying and merge it. I feel like there's a part of the White House that is secluded. Gotcha. Nobody goes there. It's the house part. Yeah, but like like it, it I, might I it might be underground. It. But who wants to have a house part with the business part is right there too, nigga. I don't I don't think I don't think he lives there, bro. It's, not, it's impossible to think because I've been to DC many times and I've been there. And the last time I went, I'm right there. I'm touching the grass by the White House and all this mm. shit. I, I was in the it's White House. It's too accessible. Before. I don't think it's, to yo, think that the most powerful person in the United States of America is right there, and I could fucking and, touch and, his and, grass. And everybody knows. And I could just touch let me, his let me tell you something. When the Secret Service is around him, <laughs> he, there and, was Secret no, Service around watching me no, do the shit. No, no, they have they they'll have them dressed up as hot dog vendors. They go extreme with this shit. You're not supposed to see the protection. That's true. By the time you because think if you can see the protection, then, then you know you know how to really you know how maneuver. To maneuver. You're not supposed to see the protection. That's true. You can see the White House, you can see the protection. The the, 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 that's you that's can't cool. See the protection now. You Crazy nah, the bro. bro. There's niggas you're bro. not seeing. It's, niggas, it's, it's, it's homeless niggas <laughs> sleeping by trees. <laughs> that, that's the that, that's the shit with the ratty. Come on, you are you not gonna see it. Oh, they got missiles. They they might got missiles to protect them. They, they, they might have some shit that goes up. You don't know what the fuck they got. These motherfuckers been had, had the net since 1978. All man. I all I know is mm-hmm. I've been to the White House. I I've been very close to the White House, and you ain't been close to the president. If I had some shit, I could have shot shot it. You ain't been close to the president. Oh, no. all right. But the, he can't so does, live there does, does, and be yo, like, it you, yo, you, you think you could shoot a missile at the White House? No, they'll divert. It depends that. on the missile. No, you can't get that off. No, you can't I get think that they off. Can. Let me you tell you something. You cannot get. Let that me tell you something. The dogs at the airport, right? Can't get that off. What do you think they're trained to smell for? And what else? It's 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 deeper what? than that. What guns? Yeah, no. They can guns. smell guns, gunpowder, oh, oh, a lot of shit, and that's very low basic shit. They got things set up. They, they, Esso just said they've had the internet for years, years before bro. they even let us know about it. You think they you uh, you think they're they gonna let it? when they had some simple like the facsimile, the fax machine, and they had the fax machine. Yeah. But before y'all niggas even government. gave shit out, we not y'all be hyping the government. No, no, because I go and I see these. You shit. know what I'm hyping? These want regular Wi-Fi. These niggas is bugging you know out. Hyping, you know what I'm hyping? Money and technology, and and, and they want people like you. Because, yeah, because because just like he said, and it makes sense to you, but you still want to go against it. It don't make no sense for you to see the protection. 
But it makes sense to me to see the people who got the high technology and they don't want to fuck with them or fund them because they just like, nah, it's going to kill the budget. They want to keep their money. Fuck, who, who don't want to fuck with who and fund who? Who's they, don't about? Do, they don't do it. Who's do they? what? What are you talking about? Boston Dynamics shit looks trash in comparison to Japan shit. It just looked trash. They don't put the money and funding into it as much as you think they do. When they shoot and when you go into the White House and they got regular Wi-Fi going... Okay. It's not as high tech okay. as you, you think let me, they let me, are. Let me, let me ask you a real fucking question since you're talking about... You've been to the no, city no, hall no. and let shit. It don't question. look high let tech. Me, nigga, let me ask not. you a question. Since you sweat in Japan <laughs> that, and you sweat in saying. Europe. No, no. Everywhere else is dope but the U.S. Let me no, ask, that's no, not what no, I'm saying. No, that is what you're saying. No, it's but, not. But, but, but let me ask you a question. Because you love America so much. Let me just so ask much. you one question. I don't love America, but this is reality. I'm a realist. Let me ask you one question. Who the fuck is the strongest? Us, nigga. No. Us, nigga. Mm -hmm. We are the leaders of the free fucking world. Mm -hmm. The United States. So if you want to go to Japan, go. Yo, why you, why if you, you want to go to why Europe. You, why are yo, you shaking yo, with Saudi yo, Arabia coming in by golf? Yo, yo, why are you yo, shaking? Because yo, I'm letting y'all know about money <laughs> and power. But what I'm, trying to what I'm trying to explain to you, if it's so great over there, go. I, I Don't let, yo, nigga, if it's so fucking <laughs> popping in just fucking Japan and all these fucking places, go, nigga. And you ain't going no fucking And then if place. I go, y'all you know, gonna be like, you say know, what now? You know what you yeah. want, but you know what you want to do? You want to go if, visit. If I it's, go it's nice, and stay, it's nice to visit. what are they going to say? What are you going to say after that? It's nice to visit. Space goes. If you, I it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't dope to stay. Every you nigga gonna, in Europe <laughs> wants to come to the U.S. To they don't the want to be there. They, they want to visit. You ask a nigga in Japan, <laughs> yo, you want to stay in Japan or you want to come to the U.S.? You ask me, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I, I, Who the fuck don't want to come over here? I, Who tell me, niggas, when niggas is turning down the U.S.? A Stop lot of, it. A lot of people. That's cap. Yo, right. ghost. That is so cap. Right. You, know right. you know why Japan is so good at what they're good at? <laughs> No, 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 I know Japan. it does matter. No, it does matter. They tried to be military thugs and they lost. Yeah. So they had to go back, they had to divert to be better at something Cause else. We bomb them. Yes, nigga! Because we don't play. Because <laughs> yeah, we don't because we that's don't just, fucking look, play. Because if we got bombed, you want to be nice? It's like the jail niggas, right? It's all these bitches. They're better. Running, no, running, that's all these not, bitches just running That's not even what happened. All these bitches just that's not even what happened. They like to be the honest. nice guy. They like Japan, right? Yeah. Right, right. But when the but when the nigga come out of jail, the strong nigga come by Japan, yeah. by Mr. Nice Guy. I don't want you no more. You're trash. Yeah. The niggas is back, nigga. Yeah. And then he gets abusive. They get their eye punched out. They and they love it. it. They love it. And love they it. love it. 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 Beat it. On. I don't want to yes. go. I don't want to go to Japan. I don't want to go to Europe. Japan. I want to go to Harlem <laughs> with the niggas. The niggas who don't want me to go outside. <laughs> the niggas who value my pussy. Mind. They selling drugs and they carrying guns. And America's, that's who I want. And America is a sucker puncher, if that's what you're saying. That's what they makes won. them winners. They just sadly. sucker punch niggas like, yeah. oh, we, wow. Like when they not looking, bomb two You know who used to do that? Shit. You know who used to do that? Rome. You know who else used to who do fell? that? London, London, England. The Mongolians yes, used to nigga. do that. Everybody. Alexander, yes, everybody has now, done now, it. Now, we're the big bad guy <laughs> because we're winning and doing it. That is not You're where the wrong. conversation was going. The conversation was, the, I don't think the president lives in the White House. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the fluidity of backfield. It's ever yo, evolving. Yo, shout out to Straight Lace. I got the T-shirt on. You heard me. What, but where would the president live? Virginia? I, they wanted to, Why would they tell us? Why? Because they because they want because they should tell us where all his security is at too, Ghost. Yeah. That's why they should tell us. Where that's why they say at. the White House. Ghost. Let me ask you this: That's where the security is at, but that's what, not where he's at. So, since you want to talk about this before we close out, why is Denver the biggest airport in in America, or if not the world? Because they don't have nothing to do but mm -hmm. fucking make an airport over there. Do you understand? You know how big the Denver is? You know how it's, big? It's what I'm saying but, but is, they don't so have. Big? What else does Denver have? But why is it so big? They're saying that if anything ever happens, bombings or whatever, they would fly all the important people in there. They said this like an underground city. I heard that. That's in Greenland. Because you ever seen the movie Greenland? Mm. Did you see the movie Greenland? Mm -mm. In the movie Greenland, that was happening. It was a big. It was like Armageddon was going to happen, and everybody and certain people got text messages, certain people didn't. And when you got the text messages, you were either an engineer or somebody who could the make buildings. The best of the best. 
Like, you got the text, you and your family could go. You got four people. we need you for when yep. the Armageddon comes. You got a building. wristband. They took the wristband. Everybody got helicopters. They go to Greenland. That's just like, what movie was that? Wasn't it was that? Greenland. But wasn't not yeah, but but there was but there's other movies that be on that you you can't get but out. That, unless, that was, it, it was a Will Smith movie that was like that too. Oh that, yeah, yeah. But that this one was this one was like you got to watch Green. It's, it's dope. Mm. It's dope. The, that's just Noah's Ark all over again. That wasn't Noah's so, Ark. That was like no the concept of Noah's Ark. You take the yeah, important but, animals, the important things of the important yeah, people. Yeah, but this was like the world coming together. Like all right, you know, yeah, the, the best here. of the best. Same thing. It's the same shit. Same thing. Um, can you to, imagine? Can you imagine you sitting in a room with your with like, and it was Thanksgiving that this should happen. Mm-hmm. You sitting in there, and then you get the text, and then like you and another nigga get the text, and then nobody else in the room get the text. You out? I'm like, yo, this shit's over, man. <laughs> yo, we out, nigga. I mean, my wife and kid, we, we got a family emergency. We, yo, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, oh, part of me. Take all the turkey. No, yeah. As the TV, like, it's doing an emergency broadcast shit, you get the text, like, oh, no, we out of here. No, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. emergency shit, my, my shit's ringing off because it was on TV. They don't know we out. Mm-hmm. Yo, babe, pack your bag. We out this bitch. We out. What? Well, they got the plane ready. We my good. Sister, this shit crazy. Nah, we, we, if you were called, would you go or would you be the. But I. On, yeah, honor, I oh, okay, okay. Nigga, what? All right. I'm not volunteering to die. Yeah, just making sure. I'm, go trying to, I'm trying to go in as long as I can, especially when they try to put your conscience in somebody else. I can't die before my conscience gets them some nigga. You will live forever? Me? Uh, yes. No. Yes. Oh, what, nigga? Uh, I see. I got what? Me. I <laughs> want that shit, see, bro. Right, see, right now, even with the loved ones that I lost, I can't see me living forever and losing more and more and more and more and more. Yeah, more. I need to end. I need nah, to end. Nah, nigga. I'm, I'm cool. I can't, nah, bro. nigga. Keep he that shit going. He, he has a different outlook and lifestyle. <laughs> shit he, is. he got different wants in life. So Yo, but you know, you want to know what's crazy? We just asked, which would you rather be? Royalty a thousand years ago or now, right? Mm-hmm. Think about what the world's going to be another thousand years from now. It's lit shit ever shit evolving. Might even, shit it might, might not, not be for be. me. Like, I, I, that's I wasn't fair. born for that. So I, hey, it might not be for me. Hey, listen, bro. Maybe yeah, this I'm time cool. is for us, and then, then this the is my time. time. I, I understand, people. but me, I, I've always been fascinated by the TV show Highlander. That, that I was meant for a nigga like me, nigga. I would have had my sword try to live for like two, ten thousand years. Yeah, look at how where he was at. He was like, it wasn't in like caves and shit. He, 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 he doubt, was but, that, but that's what it was before. And then, yeah, you know, and then he had a condo seven hundred years later. But Come he on, was wild, lonely, doing all. No, nah, he was getting pictures. Yeah, well, niggas, you were a vampire. The niggas, yeah, niggas get years. bitches. The vampire be movies, lonely. the niggas be, true. be weirdos, bro. The vampires are weird, nigga. Oh, well. Birds, They've been bro. living forever. They've been here and they just look. And I went to New Orleans and seen, I think, was vampires. Them niggas is all weird. I don't so if you could, if they shit. said they would give you 300 years of living, that would be too, okay, too much for you? What? 300 years of that's living, that'd be too much for you. That's what the original humans were living to until one of the Anunnaki gods was mad at us and they put something in our gene that we can't go past 120 years. Why did you think they were vampires? Mm. You saw them drinking but I blood? Think they were vampires? Why did you? They, were they drinking said blood? they were vampires. Who? Yeah, they had bottles of shit that they wouldn't give me. And- they was pretending. Orleans is known for vampires and oh, shit no? like that, bro. Like, yeah, hell the yeah. Got a big shit. vampire community out there. I didn't know that. So I went to the store. The store's been there since 18. A vampire store? Like, yes. Like, the, this store's been here since 18, whatever the fuck, year. And they had shit like... Hey, listen, if we believe in aliens... You can get your fangs there. Yeah, you can the, get, like, they Mac, got vampires, Mac, too. Max shit fangs if you want them. I, I believe there's people that's been living for a very long time, and they're just very incognito, and you don't know. I truly but believe. What it. is the purpose if it's not joy and I'm just trying? They to, probably to lit. They around. probably got money. Wait, they somewhere I'm just on a farm. Around like yeah, yeah. Right. I'm living to 300 and I'm in my house high hiding out because I yeah. can't tell nobody I'm 300. Like hey, it's a weird life. No, everybody you you grew who wants it. Everybody you love is dog dead. is dead. Listen, listen. Give me give me at least five thousand. Five thousand years, minimum. Five thousand. Yes, nigga. What? Edgar. No, after two hundred, you bored. Bro. Nah, nigga, it's it's just starting the at five hundred. The first hundred, then you like, oh shit, I'm gonna last forever. Then the second hundred is like you just doing. Nah, shit. that's that's what you think. You, the try try it like, out. Try try, try out three hundred years. You're gonna be like, yo, Han was right about this shit. I like this shit. All right. I don't want to see all my people die. I travel everywhere. I don't want to see. I don't, don't want to see. You can't all, do that in, in, in a short lifetime. 
In the short lifetime you did. Diplo went to every continent last year. I want to do that shit. Yo, and tw- if you live, if you live for twenty years and you go to two different places, that's forty different countries that you could be at. That's a lot of travel. And that, you still ain't been everywhere. It doesn't matter. That's a lot of travel. He you said he wants good. to go to everywhere. Not that's every exaggeration. Place, at least like every a continent. lot of places. Man. Yeah. Every continent at least. Listen, I want to go to Antarctica at least once. You can't. Diplo just left Antarctica last year, bro. Listen, he went to every continent. You know what they're doing in Antarctica, right? They have a research lab, yes. Yeah. Nigga. Oh, here comes you know better. Come shit. You know better. Here you know, you know better. Shit. They got the big hole in all the countries. There's a big hole right there uh, in upper, upstate no, New York. There's a big hole in all the countries, what? No, there's a big hole in Antarctica, and all the countries have, each country has a base there. And it's law that... They don't fight each other. And the only other person that has a base that's not a country is the Rockefellers. Shit going down in Antarctica that they're not telling just them. just went over there and DJed for D- them. Yes, nigga. Why? Who's he DJ he, for? He, he DJ for them. No. Who? Those people who live up there. You know what the temperature is in Antarctica, asshole? There's video of it if you want to watch. Minus 100. What they the doing over there? He jumped in the water. It's on video. Minus 100. Antarctica, yo, they got places minus it's minus sixty. Yeah, I gotta talk to him because I don't know. I don't. What I see, it looks nice. It's just peaceful. I and see Antarctica nothing. too. I don't, I don't know about this. What he's talking about? It's just peaceful. There's snow a big and hole. I Alaska. I'm not talking about the hole. I'm talking about the weather. <laughs> Why are you skipping? I'm not talking about the hole. I'm just talking about the weather. Yeah. It's cold, nigga. No, no, it's minus like a hundred. That's not an exaggeration. Probably gets that. But there's probably times like when he went, they said this is a good time to go because it's what is it, twenty degrees? Yeah, probably like less you like than twenty that. degree weather, nigga. There's a lot of people like cold weather. Cold, oh, nigga. If they live up there, they just let me see something. Iceland, this is what they know. Uh, it ain't Antarctica way colder than Iceland. But it get cold. It get cold in New York, N- nigga. It get cold in Chicago. No, Chicago was something different. Chicago, it was there Chicago. was negative like twenty something degrees, and we were still outside. And we saw motherfuckers standing outside like they wasn't even cold. Am I lying? Mm-hmm. Niggas was outside with their coats open. People from Chicago. Because they body used to that shit. Canada gets wild cold. Canada gets Yeah, they got, they got heated streets. That's how cold they get. Canada gets wild cold. You can't even find a weather fan, Antarctica. That's how cold it is, right. bro. Yo, like, subscribe. Super thanks. Do all that fun stuff. Share. Share it. Hit the notification uh, I was button. off. Not minus 100, minus 71. <laughs> I hit the <laughs> notification button so you know when we dropping that when we dropping the shows, keep supporting, keep following. Big and better things to come. We out of here.